This is the Canon XF300. So this is one of their new fixed lens cameras. This is the only 50 megabits per second 422 camera in its price range, which is a real plus point because it means if you are doing stuff for broadcast or, or that will uh, make its way onto TV, you can use this for all your product acquisition. So one of the key features is the lens. This is uh, an L-series lens, which is a really nice piece of glass to put between the subject and the sensor. We do have a 1 3rd inch sensor, but uh, the lens more than makes up for that. So you get the quality of the half inch sensor, but you get a much larger lens that you can put on top of it, meaning greater aperture. When you pick this up for the first time, you've got all your manual controls here, and if you've been used to using other cameras, then it'll be very easy to see where you are and know how to use this in a glance. Um, battery's covered up in here, so no fear of accidentally knocking that out. You've got all your uh, functions on the back for you know your external viewfinders through the HDMI and, and various things like that. Another really nice thing is the viewfinder, it's very crisp. This one is a four inch viewfinder on the front and it's not very reflective so it means you can see it in bright lights. It does come out on either side, so depending on, on where you are able to stand with the camera or who is using the viewfinder to monitor. Um, also, when it comes out you do have slightly more give on it, so if there are a crew of you all looking round to, to see it, then you can have it at a wider angle to be, to be monitored. If you were in uh, a situation where you couldn't use the viewfinder for any reason, there is a 1.5 inch viewfinder in here, which is 1.55 million dots, which is slightly more dots than the 1.23 million dots that you have on the viewfinder here. So again, that makes it very easy for spotting your focus when looking through the back or the front and just getting, making sure that you're getting everything in as you want it. So in terms of build quality, one of the really nice things about this camera is all the uh, elements that would traditionally be slightly weaker, they're all made and hinged with metal. And the aperture blades, for example, again, metal to give them the best possible chance of staying and being high quality in the worst conditions. So with the dual CF cards at the back, you do have the ability to hot swap, to relay, to record simultaneously. And also it does have a three second cache. So if you are shooting wildlife or sports or anything where something may happen quickly, you do have that security of knowing that you will have that shot. If you're looking at buying one of these cameras, do make sure that you are getting the right camera for the right environment. So this is the XF300 and I wouldn't really recommend this for a multicam studio environment. If you are working in a multicam studio environment, then you want to be looking at the XF305 which has Genlock, Timecode and HDSDI which would be situated where this panel is here. So to find out more about the Canon XF range or the 300 or 305, do get in touch at the information on the screen.